into the face of the goose snow Christmas come early on the homestead, huh? Good grief. Better than brown Santa. <laughs> What's a brown Santa? <laughs> UPS man. Oh, the brown Santa. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be something worse than that. But okay, so, um, so we need to talk about this. Okay, so <laughs> about six, uh, six months ago, Rhino, the manufacturer of this equipment, uh, they contacted me and said, you know what, we're big fans of the channel, we watch your videos, we want to see our equipment on your tractor. And uh, I said, oh, okay, I probably, I could use a mower or anything, you know, what, what did you have in mind? And they said, the toolbox is open. Go on our website, pick out anything you want. <laughs> you can use it for as long as you like and give us some feedback, tell us what you think of it. So I, uh, well, Mrs. W and I, we went on the website and, and uh, everything looks so small in those pictures. <laughs> so we got, uh, we got some equipment and it just showed up today. And I thought we'd talk about uh, what we got here. So this is the, uh, oh, this is big. This is a, uh, this is really nice. <laughs> it's not so small when it's on the truck, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a lawnmower, uh, or a field mower. And we have lots and lots of acreage that we've never been able to mow. And this is gonna be such a blessing to us because um, I don't know how wide this thing will mow. What is it? 10, 12, 12, 15 feet? It's pretty big, we gotta measure it. It's huge. Just come over here. It's even. It's got trailer lights on it. Man, oh man, this is really nice. Look at that. This is a little different than you know. Mrs. W is actually she. She's been down trying to mow the field with a little John Deere. Good grief, that is something else. So this uh, this will pull but pull behind the. This hooks on the drawbar. Man, that is amazing. That is quite a piece of equipment. What do the hydraulic rams do? Does that raise and lower the oh, it raises uh, the side? And lowers the whole, the the whole, whole unit. Thing. So for the thickness of the ground, well, that is really nice. What else we got here? We got a rototiller. So this is probably, that's probably what, a six footer? Yeah, six feet. Boy, that is nice. Rhino makes, they make some of the nicest implements. That's what's so incredible about these farm tractors is the versatility. A lot of people talk, uh, uh, kind of go back and forth on skid steer, if a skid steer is the best or just a traditional tractor. And man, I'd, I'd argue the tra traditional tractor because you can road it. Um, you can take it down and, and work, you know, help your neighbors or drive it on the road. You can't do that with a skid steer, but uh, look at all the different things you can do. It's just incredible. So this is a six foot rototiller that'll drive off the, the tractor, the PTO. You know, that Yanmar tractor is, little, is deceiving is it looks small. I mean, it looks like a, like a small, it's really not that much bigger than, than you guys' tractor, which yeah, is like 35 horse? 30, 33, 35, something like that. Yeah, but this is almost 60. Yeah. Um, and that's the reason why it can run these huge implements. It's really deceiving. All right, what else we got here? Been so long ago since I ordered this stuff, I forgot yeah, all of that. Yeah. So this is a six-way, a six-way adjustable blade with the wings on it, so you can carry gravel. This is really nice. So this would be perfect. We're getting ready to order a bunch of gravel uh, for the driveway because it's getting it's getting kind of muddy. And this is with these wings on it. You can adjust it on the back. You can six-way. You can angle it this way, so you can grade with it. You can go left or right, and with those wings, you can carry a lot of gravel around. So that's really nice too three cylinders heavy duty stuff isn't it yeah it's very solidly built I mean it just is. look at the way that rotates on that hinge there what is that 5 8 plate it's big nice all right what else we got uh, post hole digger so I was just talking to the guy that uh, uh, brought this stuff out and I, I didn't, I've never used one of these before, but I was thinking, you know, that rear, I, I didn't know how deep it was gonna go. He said, with the way that it's set up, you can you can bury the motor in the ground. So you could go five feet, you could dig a five foot hole with this. So this is the big one. This is probably... Probably a foot? Yeah, 12 or inches or more. so. 
Look at the cutting teeth on here, Brian. Well, that is really nice. Replaceable cutters. And then we got this little one here that goes on. So this would be really good for the fence we have to put in. It's even got a cutting blade on it too. That is high end. Wonder if it'll drill with in wood. What do you think? It's worth a try, right? <laughs> <laughs> Replaceable teeth. <laughs> Replaceable teeth. So there's that. So then we have a um, <laughs> we have a box blade, a box blade with rippers on it. This is kind of like that, but just not adjustable. And it's got a, look. It's got a cutting. It's got cutting teeth on the back too, so you can go both ways with it. So what is this? What's this all about? <laughs> You're going to take the manuals home tonight and read up on all this, right? <laughs> no, tell, I'm going to tell me how to I'm use gonna educate it. myself. <laughs> so there's I'll a teach you how to use all your toys. There's a box scraper. And then this is the uh, good grief. That's huge, too. What is that? Six feet? Oh, yeah, it's got to be six across and then longer, too. Let's Long. see. I'm I'm six, four. Let's see. What do you think, Brian? How long is it? Oh yeah, it's seven. Gotta, it could be seven, yeah. Seven feet. So this is a this is a mower, wheel mower as well. But that is really nice. More of a traditional style here. Uh, this is uh, nice. This is gonna. This is a ripper. This is really similar to the one that um, I borrowed from my friend Tony. Well, that one right there. Um, but he probably wants his back right now. So we're actually we're gonna. We're going to attempt to modify this a little bit and uh, use it to put it very underground water line. I watched a guy on YouTube do it. He built a little thing on the back and as he rode along, his wife just fed the pipe right through it. They didn't have to dig a trench. So we're going to try that here in the future for the ramp pump line. So that's really nice too. We've got a cutting tooth, cutting tooth on there. Good grief. Yeah. Well, I guess we're in the farming business now, huh? At least the field mowing business. Rot and if you're not now, you could be rototilling anytime you wanted. All right. Well, it's time. Our grass is getting tall. We, we need to try that out next week. You can get through those manuals tonight, right? Yeah, no problem. Okay. I'll read all of them. Yeah, that's just what you want to do on your free time. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. We're going to have, uh, we have a lot of content to make. So good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful, sunny Friday morning on the homestead. It's going to be hot today in the 90s. Hope to get out early and get my work done before it gets too hot. Weekend coming up. Looking forward to that. Can't wait to have our day of rest with the family. It's a hard work. It's hard work getting through the week. And it's nice to have that uh, day at the end of the week where uh, you can sit around with your family and enjoy some leisure and time off guilt-free. If you don't keep a Sabbath, whether it be Saturday or Sunday, I don't care if you're religious or not, I really encourage you to do it. Get with your family and choose whatever day works best for your family and say, okay, no electronics and no work. We're going to do things together as a family and and uh, and you really enjoy it. So special thanks to Rhino uh, for this beautiful equipment. Uh, I got to spend some time you know, walking around and looking at it last night after I got done with the video and it is so nice. Just all made in USA, top notch quality. I'm, I'm excited to try every piece. I'll share all of that with you guys in future videos. What else do we have going on? Brian and I finished up Mrs. W's planter box. It is uh, sitting assembled uh, in the shop and uh, we'll be finishing up the water line. Mrs. W has been gone. Uh, she visited some friends. I'll be back today and uh, probably Sunday. Maybe we can kind of get all that water line done and and get her new garden box installed and we'll uh, we'll have some videos on that coming up too so all right i think that's about all i had today so i want to thank all of you for your support and if you haven't already click the thumbs up leave a comment helps our channel and we really appreciate that and we'll see you guys on the next video